Nowadays, we can transform wood, which remember is the most versatile material on earth, into a totally new range of biosolutions that can replace fossil materials in sectors like construction, textiles, chemicals, transport, or packaging. We can now produce wood engineering products that can replace steel and concrete, not only reducing the carbon emissions compared to those non-renewable materials, but transforming our cities in carbon storage infrastructures. For every cubic meter of wood that we use in a building, we are storing two tons of CO2. Our ambition was for this building to be one of the most sustainable buildings in the world. We soon saw that timber, being the only renewable building material there is today, is a good way of achieving this. So our proposal was based on doing the entire building in timber. My name is Robert Schmitz and I'm one of the lead architects for Sarah Culture Center. The wood is sourced from the local forests, about a radius of 100 kilometers around Skellefteå. The sawmill is also located very close to the city, so everything is from the region. My name is Oscar Norelius, and I'm one of the lead architects for Sarah Culture Center. Timber and wood as a construction material is something we've been working with for a very long time in Sweden. The reason for that is that we have huge forests. The resource is almost endless here. And this means that we've built smaller houses historically, but we've also developed new techniques of building larger and more complex buildings with engineered wood. It's a very daring project. It took a very daring client to realize a project like this, but we felt that there was such an interest and engagement here that this was the place to do this. We have always had this strong vision. The vision is that we are going to take lead in the green transition. Schlefter is going to be a sustainable place for a better daily life. My name is Kristina Sundin Jonsson and I'm Schlefter's chief executive of the municipality. The Sarah Culture Center is powered by 100% renewable energy. The electricity and cooling comes from the river and heating comes from district heating from biomaterials. We develop new ways of channeling timber and utilize timber into bigger slabs. The columns are glue laminated timber and the ceilings is from cross laminated timber which has been mounted in elements and prefabricated in the factory just outside Skellefteå and then assembled on site. We also have added an extra centimeter of each column so that it can withstand fire for a longer time. Timber binds carbon dioxide and it balances the embodied carbon within the construction and all the materials being used in this project. This building is climate positive uh, thanks to the timber structure. We've designed the building to be a landmark, a showcase for sustainable design, sustainable construction, something that's becoming an image of the city of Skellefteå. I think we needed a center in the city, a new meeting place, and we always knew that culture and leisure is truly important for make people really love to live here. This is the most central plot in the entire city. Before, this was used as a bus station and a parking space. And from the original town planning back 100 years ago, this was meant to be a prominent building. I think it becomes a new landmark for the city, especially in this setting, overlooking the entire city of Skellefteå. Sarah Culture Center houses four cultural operations, the Westerbotten County Theater, the Municipal Library, the Art Gallery and the Museum Anna Lander, combined with the Wood Hotel, with the Conference Center, three restaurants and a spa. For us it was very important for this building to be a culture center, not just several units. We wanted the operations within to coexist so that they can strengthen each other by collaboration. This house, it invites people who come to visit to really want to be tactile and touch the walls and smell that particular smell that is wood. My name is Francesca Quarte and I'm the CEO of the Westerbotten Theatre. I think that in connection with our old tradition of being a country of large forests and of course our indigenous people, the Sami people, who have long lived in collaboration with nature. Culture is the bridge between the old and the new, and I would say that we want to connect and reconnect with that past. 
This building is about empowering the community and letting the people have a new public place where they can meet and also to feel at home in. All the inhabitants, all the businesses that are around here are really dedicated to contribute to this vision. It has to do with sustainability when it comes to the beauty of our city, the sustainability and how it will be possible for different sectors of society to work together. And it's made visible with this house. You can really see the change, the transition in Schleftje for the last couple of years. You can already see that this house is vibrant with young people, elderly people, with people from all over the world. It's really a picture of the future of Schleftje. We're in the start of a green revolution with this building, leading the way for a better sustainable future in construction. Sara Culture House is the perfect symbol for sustainability in all aspects, socially, economically and environmentally. There are many things happening here attracting people and this becomes the image of all of those developments. I think other cities can learn that we have loved to cooperate with others. That's the success of Schlefter because we are not alone on this journey. To build such a tall building in wood, all of it, that has sent a signal throughout the world that new things can be done in ways that perhaps nobody thought about before. Something exciting is happening here. The entire world is seeing that. And that sense of pride, it cannot be underestimated what it does to a person to know I come from a city that I would say really is the future.